Hey everybody, Matt here. Thanks for stopping by. In today's video, we're going to test the strength of some butt joints that are held together only with glue. So we're going to look at three different kinds of joints here, all butt joints. We're going to do end grain to end grain like so with three pieces that should be the weakest joint we're going to do end grain to long grain or face grain that should be stronger than end grain to end grain and then finally we're going to do long grain or face grain to long grain so long grain to long grain and this should be our strongest joint So what I'm going to do to test the strength of the glue joints, I'm just going to glue up the blocks and then once the glue dries, I'll set them up on these hollow blocks spaced appropriately apart, something like that. And then I'll stand on the middle piece to see if my body weight will break the glue joint here or here or maybe in both places. And then I'll go ahead and do the same sort of thing with the other two sets of blocks.
So the dead blow hammer that I was using is a four pound dead blow hammer that I got from Harbor Freight. And this clawback hammer, I'm not sure how heavy the head is. I've had this hammer for a really long time. Let's see. It says here that it's a 16 ounce hammer. So give you some reference there. Now the first one that we broke apart was the end grain, so it was glued like so, and you, I think you can see that it took very little force to break the glue joints. It didn't damage the wood at all. Not sure if you can really see that on the camera, but this one, it just broke the glue joint. The next one was where we glued 
end grain to long grain or face grain like this. This took a little bit more force to break and in on this side, well on this side it actually did, the wood actually failed so it was glued like this. So on this end part of the wood actually failed so it broke away or sheared off some of the wood from the small block here. On this side though it looks like it really just broke the glue joint. There's a couple little sections of wood that came off from the small block not quite as severe as this one Again, it might be kind of hard to see on the camera, but there's a kind of a larger, deeper chunk that's missing from this side. And this side just has a little groove here and even smaller groove here. So this one took more force to break than this one, so stronger, weaker. And then the all face green. So you could see from the video that it took quite a bit to break it apart. I had to switch to the claw back hammer because I just wasn't getting enough force from the dead blow, believe it or not. So let's see, I'm trying to piece this together the way it was. I think it was more or less like this and there were a couple of chunks that came out I think this one goes here and there might be another one that maybe goes I think maybe down here something like that okay so I did get a couple of large splinters from breaking these and I think, I can't remember which side broke first, but in all cases, the wood is what actually failed. The glue joint did not fail. So the wood actually sheared apart. And I think you can see from the video, it took quite a few hits with the hammers to try and Put enough force on the blocks to split them apart. You can kind of see how deep the recesses are from hitting the, the head of the clawback hammer right on the block. So this worked out the way I anticipated. So this is the strongest joint, long grain, long grain to long grain. This is the next strongest or next weakest rather. So you got end grain to long grain and then this one is indeed the weakest where it's just end grain to end grain. Now I was surprised that all of them including this one could hold my body weight but then as soon as I started to hit with a hammer then this one came right apart. This one took just a little bit more force with the dead blow to break it apart. And then this one again took quite a bit with the clawback hammer to get the wood to fail.